One of the biggest historical takeaways from today's inauguration is when Vice President Kamala Harris was sworn in. Not only is she the first female vice president, but also the first black and first Indian American vice president. Harris is only 56. She is the daughter of Jamaican and Indian immigrants. Joining me now is Diane Sheehawk. She's the founder of the local organization Women Elect, which helps women in Western New York who want to run for public office. Diana, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me on such an exciting day. It really is an historic one and very exciting for a lot of people. First, quickly, if you will, though, just talk about the significance of this moment, a woman finally becoming vice president of the United States. It's breaking such a ceiling to be able to say, Madam Vice President. <laughs> I, you know, so many women and girls are thrilled to see this day come because, of course, you can't be what you can't see. And so, especially to the young girls out there, now they can see themselves in leadership positions as they grow. And it's very, very exciting. Whether it be on the national or the local level, why is it so important to have women? run and really be willing and interested in running for public office. Women govern differently, and it's really important that we have a gender balance in office. And it's been proven by research. Harvard Business did a, a study a few years ago that went through since 1950 to almost present day, all the countries in the world that were led by a woman leader had a two or three percent better GDP uh, within the time that they were governing. Now, two to three percent doesn't sound like much, but that's billions of dollars of economic growth within an economy. And so it makes a difference when women are in positions of leadership. It actually helps the pocketbooks of everyday families. Now, what would you say to any woman or young girl who may watch this interview and have aspirations to one day run for public office? What advice do you give to them no matter what age? So, you know, running for office is not easy. And so you need to find a mentor and you need to learn all you can. Get involved in a campaign so you understand how the program works. Get Go to your city council meetings. Look at government and see how it works. If you can work in a government office, that's ideal. Get some experience under your belt and start building that network of support. And of course, Women Elect is a great organization uh, to come work with us and learn about running for office. We have uh, programs running in Buffalo, Rochester and Auburn, New York so far, and we're expanding across the state. And so, you know, really learning from others who have paved the way and getting in there and doing some of the work yourself will teach you how to run for office. Diane Chihak, founder of Women Elect, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Mary Ellen.